in January. Birthday cake with the new limited edition MTS flavor. February, peanut butter cookies and cream, flavor that cracked my top three of all time favorites. Now in March, Mark has released coconut chocolate cookie. And basically, as you can see there, it looks like a Girl Scout uh, samosas cookie, kind of a replica. The makeup of the MTS way, again, very similar from flavor to flavor. If you've ever seen the profile or tried it yourself, you know exactly what you're getting into. Each serving with this, 130 calories, 2 grams of fat, 2 grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein. So you can see it's a little bit lower calorie than last month's peanut butter cookies and cream. Without further ado and boring everyone, let's get right to the basic taste test. Six ounces of milk. I'm going to use an almond milk, cashew milk, whatever you guys would prefer. And I'm just going to take one scoop of the new cookies and cream. Coconut chocolate cookie whey. Like so. I'm going to give this a little shake. Toss it on my magic bullet. Bring it back when it's all said and done. Just that smell alone is pretty good. Not as strong as like the apple pie is when you crack the tub, but I must say, looking forward to trying this out. I'm gonna whip it up, we'll come back for the taste test. All mixed up, I poured about half of it into a cup, right here, and the other half right here for a little bit of a taste test. Now, based off what I saw in Mark's initial review, looks like the coconut may be the dominant flavor, hand of chocolate, and also there is a mix of caramel and the Samoa's cookie. Coconut chocolate cookie, let's see where it ranks up on the list of flavors. Let's give it a whirl. Okay. So right away, good ratio of coconut to chocolate. Real rich chocolate. Dominant coconut right away. Overlapped by the milk chocolate. And then a hint of the aftertaste, you get a good mix of the caramel. To give you a good replica of the coconut chocolate cookie or the Samoa's cookies. I think Mark did a fantastic job on this flavoring here. But let's see where this one lands on the Tower of Gains and through all of his flavors that I have at the moment. With that said, after trying the new flavor, let's see where this one lands. Over here, got a couple of the tubs I have currently in stock. I still think out of all the newer flavors, I put cinnamon, cinnagram towards the end wasn't really the strongest or best cinnamon in my opinion. It's still good, but it's not great. Um, next up, I would probably have to say apple pie birthday cake. Yes, they were good. Apple pie had a great aroma, rich flavor. Birthday cake, nice and sweet, something I really enjoy. Now, I have to say the new flavor does crack my top five. I'm gonna put it in right at number four, coconut chocolate cookie. It's really good, but I'm pretty partial to Red Velvet, which is number three. Mark did a great job of this and put in the, uh, I think the Wisconsin cupcake pieces into the batter. Number two, peanut butter cookies and cream. Everyone's a peanut butter lover. Everyone loves Oreos, cookies and cream. Mark nailed that, made it like a peanut butter pie with a cookie aftertaste, top notch. And again, my reigning champion, pumpkin pie, could be the biggest white girl in the world, as you can see with my skin color. But it's literally a legit Costco pumpkin pie in protein form. That's kind of a rundown on what I enjoy as far as the flavors go. I'm going to rank them in my listing below as far as the review. Just want to say, Mark, keep up the great job as far as the flavors come. I'm looking forward to the last two that are still to drop in the next two months. And again, anytime you buy one of these limited flavors, 5% goes to a good cause. Support the machine. Thanks again.